Hello, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm not getting any messages. Let's see. The chariot could be dealing with uh, cancer. Some of you are just smashing your goals right now. Some of you could be kind of like um, on the cusp of cancer or, you know, like a Leo cancer type energy. Um, you get you're you're getting rewards for staying focused, you know, staying focused on achievement, um, short term goals here, um, knocking them out of the park because you gained some type of emotional, physical, uh, and mental uh, control balance here, um, direction or directed. You've got some type of uh, plan also. And you're instituting it. So that's really good. Um, you could be moving or thinking about moving or making a move. Maybe even buying a car or something with a car. Let's see what's going on for Leo. So you have the seven of wands here. So people see you get, so you're getting a lot of attention. You got to stand up for yourself though, you know, um, this could be somebody, this could be your energy though, you know, stand, I heard standing in the gap for, I don't know. This is also being like an, you know, an advocate. This is, um, being like, um, I heard the people's champ or this is a, what's the word? It's like, um, an activist. It's like you, you're putting the issues that you want to bring to the forefront you're putting them out there and people are coming at you but it's like stand your ground don't back down don't delete alt delete control just keep it there but stand your ground here people are going to be coming for you coming for the crown have confidence but also choose your battles wisely because some people just come to kill steal and destroy because the seven of wands talks about destructive energy so some people come to just destruct right um, let's see what else is going on for Leo. So then we have the four of pentacles here. Manage your money wisely. It looks like you've come into some money or just a, a significant amount of savings. You're trying to keep your bank balance at a certain balance there. You might be penny pinching. Um, do know that money is energy. Put your money where it will grow with the four of pentacles. Uh, you have the opportunity to have a status change, um, but it's also about growth. Um, it also talks about maybe going in alone, um, not partnering up right now with the four of pentacles coming out, especially in business matters or money matters. You need to do it by yourself. You need to have some independence. You've been a little bit stagnant, stuck or clingy or someone's trying to cling to you for whatever reason. You could be in a relationship where there isn't any growth right now. It's just kind of in a stuck place. What else do we have for Leo? Yeah, the Seven of Cups could be dealing with a Piscean person here. Um, I don't know if they make you or they something that they do or that they say to you kind of clouds your emotional judgment. Uh, a decision hasn't been made. A choice hasn't been made. They kind of keep things up in the air. They tell you the sweet nothings. It's a lot of, oh, I'm going to do all this, all that, but not enough action with the Seven of Cups. Wishful thinking, procrastination, maybe even overindulging. Maybe this person likes to do nice things for you, say nice things to you. So take your mind off of what you really want to talk about or what's really going on with you. This could be the cheating spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend this is somebody trying to keep your judgment clouded or trying to keep you keep your head up in the clouds here so then we have the uh, six of cups okay um it just says that maybe a relationship needs to go back to simpler times um it could be a dynamic where somebody's older than there's younger 
It could be the dynamic of maybe every disagreement turns into an argument because of somebody's lack of emotional maturity. I hear tears. So somebody, you know, turns on the waterworks. Someone hasn't dealt with their inner child. They need to connect backwards. Somebody is extremely emotionally immature. Um, last card for Pisces here. Two cards came out. So five of swords. So it's like somebody plays mentals, mental games. I heard they're not ready. They're not ready for what you want. The queen of swords. It's like you, you want answers. Somebody talks in circles. They keep you purposely confused or they don't want to talk about it, whatever it may be. Communication can be stagnant or stuck or non-existent. Uh, it says stand up for yourself again with the five of swords, sharpening your words. Uh, and it doesn't have to be that um, your words need to be, um, what's the word? They don't have to be degrading or they don't have to be where you're talking down to someone. It just it means you need to sharpen your words, um, articulate, know what you really want to say to a particular person. Um, there could be uh, jealousy surrounding you, maybe from childhood friends or friends or people you thought were friends. It's just somebody wants to win at any cost. They want to win the argument. Somebody says some real tough things at times and it just causes for a reversal of the relationship. It was going good. Now it's going absolutely bad. If you took two steps forward, now we're taking five back. So that might be the energy that you're in. Or it just seems like arguments always double back to this one issue or this one or two issues or these five issues that you never get resolved. The Queen of Swords says you need to make some executive decision about uh, your life. You got to stand in the driver's seat. You have to be the executive. So this, this is talking about the final say. Get advice, counsel before you cut something out or cut someone off. Understand that if you want something and it's not providing you it, whatever it is, you might need to get rid of it. If it doesn't add value and you want something that's valuable, you know, might need to get, of the, get rid of the you know, the thing that is not valuable. So that's what the queen of swords says. She understands newness and old and her sword. She only yields it when she knows that she's getting ready to sever ties. Cause she understands if I want newness and I want this and I want that, I can't be in this old junk. So that's what I have for you. Uh, Leo, I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also purchase your amethyst and your black tourmaline bracelets. Um, if you're in a place of healing, get the ameth amethyst bracelet. If you're in a place of needing protection, uh, get the black tourmaline or get both. Um, you can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.